Let's see. I followed the red wire to get here, which means I need to follow the green wire to get out of here. And for those of you just joining me in this video walkthrough, hi, I'm Argo Fump, the Nancy Drew Dude. This is Odyssey. It's an educational game made by the Young Socratics. You can get it off of the Her Interactive website. That's where I got my copy of this game. This is an educational game based on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This chapter has been, you know, mostly gravity-based. So we've been going over uh, Aristotelian ideas about gravity and so forth. Looks like we've got another wire coming out of this puzzle. All right. Ooh, hey, butterflies. Hi, butterflies. So let's just follow this wire all the way to its end. Oh, no, we've got three wires now. Oh, how am I going to keep track of this? Fortunately, they're all different colors. Okay, so green wire looks like it's going into this house. Ah, and I bet I used my crank here in order to reach island number one, if I wanted to go back to island number one, which I don't. I, I want to go to this house and solve its puzzles. Alrighty, open the door. This button here. More journal notes for the next puzzle. Hmm, I imagine this is the puzzle. Or this is the puzzle. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, they both look like puzzles and they both look equally puzzling. Let's take a look at our notes. The bob on the shorter string moved faster and with a shorter time period. I reduced the string length some more and oscillated uh, uh, faster. To double the time period, I need to quadruple the length of string. Okay. Oh, wow, that seems like math. If I want to reduce the time period to a third, I I reduce it to the ninth. It's a square square roots. That's it. Yep, that is that's where I was going to go with that. Okay, so let's see this. This is a this particular experiment seems to be working on um, length. Okay, so let's check out this particular experiment here. I don't know if this is a puzzle so much as an experiment. We saw this with the previous pendulum pendulum thing. We just get to watch the science in action. And as he said, this really short string, you'll notice, is uh, moving way faster than the, the other one. Even though they're all the same length. I mean, all the same weight. Of course, the fact that it's moving faster than the others means it's going to stop faster than the others, and it's going to make fewer um, back and forth motions. And you can already kind of see that. Looks like this one is gonna gonna be the winner here with the most rotations. Ooh, wait, but that smaller one's still not dead? What? How are you not out of the running? Okay, we finished. Okay. Alright, so the length apparently affects, you know, how many back and forths it makes. Although, as we said, the, the smaller one goes faster. Anyway, I think I might have got my science mixed up. Anyway, it looks like I've read these notes and solved the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Pendulums don't swing higher than the spot that they're, uh, you know, from, if that makes sense. And we've got an army safe. I found a drawing in each of the watchtowers connecting one of the safe's geometric figures to a pendulum, mass and amplitude, along with the sketches. Hmm. So the 
five drawings open up this army safe, and I think I've got the five drawings. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to put my knowledge to the test. This could be trouble. I got a little tongue-tied in explaining how that particular thing worked. Okay. So let's see. I have such a bad memory with things like this. So I followed green here. I followed green here. Yes, so that means I follow blue out of here. This will probably lead to the old army safe. And this could be the end of the game. I'm not 100% sure. We should be coming up towards the end of chapter number three. And I think chapter three is all that they were able to get to with uh, this Kickstarter. Plans were to have six different chapters, so uh, presumably it's a to be continued. We'll see. Blue. Oh no, how, how do I get up here? Okay, I'm stuck in a hole. No, I'm not, but I mean, I'm stuck on a cliffside. goes here. Got it. The puzzle of going through bushes. Yes? Here we go. Old army safe. This is it. Doesn't look like I can interact with any of the other elements. I guess I could move that thingy that thingy up and down. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't look like it can manipulate any of these other ones. So let me just try to figure out just the generic rules of the puzzle, how it works. It is powered on, right? This generator is powered on. Here we go. A I Q one. What? Okay, I'm looking for four, four um, letters here. A four-letter code. I wonder what this four-letter code could be. Hmm. Oh, whoa! Give me a second. Thought I saw something there. didn't. Well, that's good to know. Anyway, this is powered. I should be able to solve it. What four-letter code am I going to have to have here? The dad wrote on the sign, although it was up some... Bird. Bird. I remember that. B-I-R-D. Dad wrote the word bird up there. We saw that through the microscope. Telescope. Telescopes and microscopes are different things. Telescope lets you see something far away. Microscope lets you see something which is small. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Bird. Bird is the word. And now I can manipulate this. Okay, move this back and forth. Whoa. Okay, so there's four of these things. Okay. So it looks like the one at the bottom has it moving very fast. The one at the top has it moving very slow. So this will uh, work with the pendulum uh, uh, length. Okay, so as we saw earlier on in this video, um, the one that's moving back and forth really, really quickly is a short one, so that's got to be this, this one. Okay, um, let me pull up those notes again. It's that one, and then next is gonna be the next longest one, which is a cube, and then we've got the one with 
three pentagons. One, two, three, four. Yeah, pentagons. Three pentagons on the side. So let's go with cube. And three pentagons. Hopefully this is the correct solution. Um, next we're going to have uh, this one. Oh, but you might notice the weights are of different... Uh, I mean, these things are of different weights, so that might actually affect the puzzle a bit. That is, this one's 4 kilograms, this one's 5 kilograms. Maybe that affects it, maybe it doesn't, we'll see. So next we need the pyramid, and then... The dodecahedron, I suppose. Got it! And this gives us the key. Ooh. Yeah! So that's going to be the key. Aha! That's going to be the key to the generator, which is by the well. Okay. Let's do it. Or wait, 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 wait. This video has been going on long enough. Okay, I'll continue in the next video.